channel if you're new you already know to click that subscribe button do me a favor before you watch this video go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and press the post notification bell so you can be the first to view when i post my videos for my returning subscribers y'all welcome back welcome back to sleep like you you know where we discuss everything let them know you for the support y'all we are on our road to 150 subscribers and let's get into today's topic today's topic we're going to be discussing different vaginal odors so we're going to get down to the nitty gritty this video is not to offend anybody put disclaimer i am not a general practitioner i am not a gynecologist i am not a registered nurse so this information that I'm giving you guys, this is what I my this is my research I've done, and hopefully this helps another lady because obviously we have some women who still do not know certain things about their body, and that's okay because we are all learning. So your big sis is about to help you. So let's get right into this video. So our first vaginal odor we're going to be discussing is fishy odor. Fishy odor can be caused by BV. If you do not know what BV is, BV is bacterial vaginosis. There are many causes of BV. BV can be caused if you have multiple sex partners. Um, if you let a man ejaculate inside of you, that could also throw off your pH balance and result in you having bacterial vaginosis. Um, it could be from the foods you eat. Also, if you douche, douching, I, I don't recommend douching. I, at all because that can throw off your pH balance and most of the times when women have BV you could if you have BV if you had it before nothing to be ashamed of because most women go through these things most women do so there's nothing to be ashamed of most times when women have bacterial vaginosis doctors would prescribe flagyl F-L-A-G-Y-L that is the antibiotic that helps get rid of the bacterial infection with antibiotics, sometimes antibiotics could clean out all the bacteria out of your vagina. Keep in mind the bacteria needs good and harmful bacteria in order to balance the pH level inside of the vagina. So it could help its proper scent. No, but no, no vagina smells like flowers. I, I don't know um, where people get that from, but every woman has a different scent. So no vagina is going to smell like flowers. And if you, if you, if you are spraying perfume now in your vaginal area, stop it please. Because you you could just throw off your pH balance. Those um sprays and scented sprays that some women do spray around by their vagina, stop doing that. Some women um end up having reoccurring bacterial vaginosis where it keeps coming back, keeps coming back no matter how much antibiotics they take. And another thing with some antibiotics, some antibiotics could also cause yeast infection. So it's like you getting cured from one thing and going into the next. So most times when gynecologists see that most women have recurrent bacterial vaginosis, what they do recommend and they prescribe is boric acid suppositories. If you do not know what that is, you can look it up, research it. They have vaginal suppositories that help to balance out the pH level inside the vagina and it also gets rid of of the B, of the BV, most times the treatment is for like 21 days or maybe a week, depending on how severe the case is. Uh, the second order is a um, metallic or irony smell. Most women experience this smell probably during their period or say one day or two days after their period. This is normal, especially if you you have high you have a high iron. If your iron is high iron inside of your blood, this is going to happen. So it's no need to cause for no no alarm. It isn't harmful to your body because keep in mind, blood is flowing down in your vagina during your menstruation. So that blood is exiting your body. And of course, you're going to smell the iron smell inside of your blood if you have a high iron level. What you can do, keep in mind, I told you the boric acid suppositories uh, for people who have recurrent BV. But listen to me. If you have not yet tried out boric acid suppositories, look it up. You don't have to take my word for it. You can look it up and listen, they will change your life, okay? They will absolutely, those and probiotics will change your life. So, 
after your period if you want to like cleanse out your vagina you could use the boric acid suppositories for like three days so just get rid of the metallic scent because you know sometimes it does mingle for like three days after your period if you have a high iron level also when i talked about prebiotics probiotics probiotics are also good to balance out that ph level inside of your vagina i take probiotics um you can find probiotics anywhere online you can buy them anywhere i know refresh has a brand there are many brands of probiotics but you can do your research and you can look it up and find out which probiotic is best for you the next order is bread like or oh, yeasty scent this here is a sign that you may have a yeast infection yeast infections are normal especially how we are coming into those summer months eh? especially pregnant women a lot of pregnant women get yeast infections a lot a lot especially how we coming into summer months and you know down there may get a little sweaty sometimes it may it may because it's hot so i would advise you during the summer to wear more dress wear more dresses it, it doesn't hurt and, it, and plus dresses make you look more feminine why you wouldn't more wear a dress okay <laughs> yeah but wear more dress so more air could get in between your legs and it could air could be flowing out in and out if you're going to wear um g-string or g-string with the next one in here i can't anyways if you're wearing g-string make sure you wear the cotton set if it's not cotton make sure at least the panty seat is cotton you shouldn't be wearing them every day but I know you can't tell people out what panties to wear. So make sure if you're wearing those panties, any kind of panties, make sure it's cotton please because you need it to be breathable to let the vagina breathe. It needs to breathe. If you could sleep naked at night, do that and all. I know some people um probably be uncomfortable with sleeping naked at night. But if you could just sleep with just a night dress on and no panties, try to see if you could do that because in these hot months, yeast infections will be in and out, in and out, in and out and drink water please ladies i would advise you during the summer months to drink a lot of water please drink a lot of water yeast infections are curable um they have a lot of over-the-counter products that can cure yeast infections monostat um it's another one i forget the name but there are a lot of you can just go to your pharmacy and find out the information or find out which product you can use to cure the yeast infection I like going to the doctor, you know, like, you know, for certain checkups, checkups or whatever. But if you could avoid going to the doctor for every little thing that you could probably handle with your body, please do. But, um, also a lot of women who experience, a lot of women experience reoccurring yeast infections, infections. And a lot of women are really, um, ashamed to talk about those things that they go through with. Ain't really nothing to be ashamed of because how I see it, we are all women. We are all women and if another woman is willing to go to that extent to shame another woman because of a vaginal loader instead of trying to assist her, then she is not a woman. She's not a woman because like I said, most women experience these odors throughout their lifetime. They may experience it once or twice because nobody is perfect and sometimes it's, it's the little things, anything basic, even a soap you use to throw your vagina scent off. Okay? So nothing to be ashamed of. Like I said, women who have reoccurring, reoccurring yeast infections, you know what the doctor will give them, prescribe for them, boric acid suppositories. In the Bahamas, you have to get a prescription for them. But if you do not want a prescription for them, you can very well go on Amazon or eBay. Um, they have different brands, but the brands I would recommend is Boric Life, and it's another one with starts with pH in a green and white bottle. Listen. Listen to your big sis. They are the truth. And if you don't believe me, you can go ahead and do your research and find out the information. The next order is a musty smell. This smell could come from if you're not shaving your vagina. It could come from after you work out because, you know, some people sweat, sweat more than others. So some women, they sweat more than others. And this could also come from if you are not changing your panties right after you work out. I know some women don't even work out in panties. They just wear a... Um, wear their um pants their um exercise clothing workout clothing and just put on a sports bra some women don't wear panties because they don't want they don't want that um sweat to be on their vagina after they already work out this could be the musky smell um it ain't really nothing to be alarmed of because once you bathe it'll go away 
make sure you are maintaining proper hygiene make sure if you do not wax try to shave i mean i would prefer waxing but let me put y'all on to the sugar pot 242 I, I don't know if y'all remember when I purchased my wax, that big bottle of wax, probably two months ago. You don't believe I still have that? That could last me for the rest of the year. No cap. No cap. Because it's wax and you don't use, you don't have to use plenty. Instead of having to buy razors all the time, it's a good investment. It hurts, but it's a good investment. And plus, when you wax this, the hairs grow back thin, okay? So it ain't growing back like no fluffy rug no more. All right. A last odor is a rotten odor. This this odor normally comes from women who forget their tampon inside of them. I personally don't believe in wearing tampons, but some women do forget their tampons because when you put in a tampon, it's easy to forget it's there. It's, it's, it's easy, and sometimes it may not even sip your mind, especially on a day when, say it's your last day, your period, and you forget it's in there some women forget it in there for probably a day or two and then they, they um end up experiencing this rotten smell and if you cannot get the tampon out on your own do not be ashamed to go to a gynecologist because they're going to assist you with it um me personally i am not ashamed to go to a gynecologist um that's what they're there for to help you i rather male gynecologists over women just my preference but if you have that rotten smell, please go and visit a gynecologist so they can help you remove the tampon and the smell should be, it should start to fade away probably in the next two, three days after it's already removed. Remember ladies, take good care of your health. And another disclaimer, again, I am not a gynecologist, general practitioner, or a registered nurse. I'm just giving you my information of what I research. Let's get into this comment, right? Let's get into this comment of this man on Facebook who said, if women would stop sleeping around with multiple, multiple sexual partners, sex partners, that their vagina would smell better. Or if they, would, if they sleep with one man and their vagina would smell better. Let me just say this first and foremost. Men being in women business, if you don't have a PhD, you don't have a degree to say, okay, you practice gynecology, you should you shouldn't be in a woman's business period i'm i'm just being straight up you shouldn't be in a woman's business because for one you can be a woman sleeping with one man but that man could be sleeping around with four or five females and end up coming right back to you it could be raw dog with four or five females and he come back home and raw dog you and boom you have bacterial vaginosis because he got it and he bring it right back home to you not less not Let's not only talk about bacterial vaginosis, STDs. This is why a lot of men should stay out of women's business. Ex and another thing, but especially if you don't have a vagina, you don't understand. You wouldn't really understand a woman's body unless you have a vagina. So I just think he needs to just fall back. And even in the comments, people was like, why in a woman's business? Like, that post went viral, but he sure didn't so ladies never be ashamed never be ashamed of anything that you go through as a female it's you don't have to be ashamed of it if you if you feel it so you have a scent down there that doesn't smell normal go ahead and visit your gynecologist if you want to go to a gynecologist here in the bahamas i would recommend dr donna hall the scent says he will tell you straight up dr hall don't cut he don't cut no corner that's you know okay bam 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 he just be straight up and i feel comfortable he's, he's i don't feel uncomfortable being around him as a doctor you know so until next time ladies thank you for watching this video if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button and for my new subscribers hope you enjoyed this video give the video a thumbs up if you like <laughs>